Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to Best Eats Shanghai. This is the city that I was born in and right now we're here in Wai Tai. But today we're going to check out some of the most incredible food that Shanghai has to offer. From bite-sized mini buns to the world famous soup dumplings with a twist. If your mouth is salivating, well that's called the Shanghai effect. Let's go check it out. We're in a very special location and when in Shanghai there's always one meal that we eat to celebrate us joining together as a family. It's also a city dish of Shanghai. It's called Hairy Crab, otherwise known as Du Zaha here in Shanghainese. I can still speak a little bit. This is a very nostalgic area. Every single time I come to Shanghai, we come right here. Grandma and auntie's home. Let's go get some Hairy Crab. Hey, <laughs> This is my grandma, white boy as I call her. She only speaks Shanghainese. Now, who? Get her to Sanchia. Don't come out, come, no harm. If you boil these suckers without it being tied up, the legs tend to fall off. These ones appear to be award winners too because they've got little medals on them. Hey man, you did not sauce some Oh, Tansu Pai That's vinegar ribs. So this is something that never goes in my mum's household. Before everyone's here to eat, I get asked to eat all the goodies from Daima. This is why I like coming here. Wai Po is a master chef back in the day. She's a little bit too old to be cooking now. But she's definitely passed on masterful skills over to Daima and also my mum. This is so incredibly delicious. The pork ribs themselves are amazingly juicy and tender. Perfect amount of fat on them. And then the salty vinegary flavors. I'm cooking at its best. Peter gets a lot of special treatment in his household, especially from Waipo and Daima who super duper love him. Yeah. White boy has a habit of always letting others eat first and always letting people have the best seats. So we gotta insist that she gets the best seat. Otherwise. <laughs> she used to be taller too, that's what she's saying. Hi! Wow, this is a crab. Uh, mm. <laughs> Peter. They are river crabs, so they're a lot smaller than the ocean crabs. This one is a female one, and as you can see, the caviar is a lot more orange than the male one. And when you break it in half, oh yeah, expose all of the goodness. Get a little bit of vinegar in that one, and it's time for a bite. Oh man, that is so good. Now that piece of caviar is steamed until it's too hard in terms of texture. It tastes like salted egg yolk, but more rich. And we're so thankful to have this meal every single time we come back to Shanghai. I always look forward to it. Just incredible. And that wraps up a delicious meal here with Wai Po and Daima. We're gonna head back off now and I need to recover after some of this food. And this is probably the most famous place here in Yu Gardens and Shanghai because Queen Elizabeth herself has eaten here as well as the Clintons. There is always a line. It's about a 30 to 40 minute wait for us today, which is considered good. Super excited. The first time I ever came to Yu Yuan Garden was when I was a little kid with my mum. Hello. <laughs> And we came here to eat a specialty dish which is big hairy crab meat into a Shaolong Bao. Right now we're not eating Shaolong Bao, we're gonna eat some Dou Mao. It's a baby snow pea leaf. Mm. So good. Very nice. Queen Elizabeth has eaten this dish. Chinese call Mei Mao Su, like the people's eyebrow, and also have the good meaning of a long life. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Mm. Inside, I think that they have some vegetable shrimp and uh, crab meat. And the pop mints. A little bit salty, really subtle flavors of all of them combined, and they're wrapped around with a buttery, crusty goodness. Pretty good. Very nice. And this is the dish that I came here with Mum many, many years ago. Chef and Shalom. They've taken that crab meat and put it in with some regular meat to make the Shalom more special. Sure. Yes. Very nice. Very strong crab meat taste, and it's got lots of juicy inside. Juicy. How, how juicy is it on a scale of 1 to 10? Um, 8 out of 10. 8 out of that's very juicy. Finally, it's my turn. If you've seen 
our episode of Shanghai Food in Auckland. You can check it out here. You can see that I really love them and how I prefer to eat them is poking a tiny hole, getting the soup, drinking that up first. This one that I have here is crab meat, shrimp and pork. That's all that soupy, juicy goodness mum was talking about. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is incredible. This one makes it with uh, dry scallops, mm. crab meat, and the pork mince. I thought that last one was good, the classic, da xie and xiaolongbao. But this one I think is even better. Yes. They have a different layer of the flavor. Dry scallops is make a more Xian. tasty. Xian. Yeah. Xian, for who you guys who don't know, means more umami flavor almost. Like, I just replaced one Asian word with another Asian word, but it's kind of like a mixture of saltiness and sea flavors. Mm. Very tasty. Very nice. So we ordered a whole bunch of desserts. Now we got one of mum's favorites. This is a Gui Hua La Gao. It's a little bit sweet, and then you can taste the flowers a tiny amount. That's the best Gui Hua La Gao I eat so far in Shanghai. It's really good. Mm. What a meal it's been. Mum, what is this final thing that we've got here? This has a very good Chinese meaning. That means a fu, fu, so, xi. So now that we've cleared all that up, I'm gonna go in for some more long life. What are you going in for, Mum? I'm going to have the lucky. So I think my one is caramelized peanut with coconut. It's super tasty. The outside skin is delicious, glutinous rice. My one have a red bean and the sticky rice. But the ripping the leaves is very fresh and got lots of natural taste. That wraps up some of the most delicious Xiaolong balls that we've had here in Yu Yuan Garden and possibly even Shanghai. Great meal. Very nice, very tasty. And thanks for being on the show, Mum. You're very welcome. restaurant that my dad recommended in Yu called Shanghai Classical Hotel or Shanghai Lao Fan Dian. Founded in 1875, it has won multiple prestigious awards for Shanghainese cuisine. Let's head on in. Now special guest here, this is my dad, born and raised Shanghainese. Hello. <laughs> Shall we start with the Xing Yu? Cheers. Cheers. A little bit sweet, a little bit salty, and I think that's the best way to describe a lot of Shanghainese food. Hey, that's right. Next up, Dad and I are going in for this broad bean cake. Yellow part is salty egg yolk. Tastes like a vegetable turned into a cake. <laughs> and then you put just a little bit of salty, salty egg. egg yolk on the top. So it's kind of weird. This is one of my favorite dishes in Chinese. Dad's mum used to cook this for us all the time. It's called ba bao ya, which means what, Dad? Eight churches duck. And inside this duck is this delicious glutinous rice and uh, lots of the soy sauce. Mm. Mm. Tastes just like a mum's cooking. Rice inside has been steamed, and you, because it's been steamed inside the duck itself, it's picked up a lot of the natural flavors of the duck, even though it would probably have been started off as two separate ingredients. That's correct. Very tasty. So Dad, this next dish, isn't this a famous dish of Suzhou? Yes. Okay, let's give it a try. Yeah. It tastes like a New Zealand back home. We've got uh, fish and chips. <laughs> fish and tomato. chips with tomato sauce. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what we got, but we probably paid a lot more than that for uh, this dish. Yen's mum's favorite. It's called the drunken chicken. Also a Shanghainese specialty. Very strong alcohol flavor. Very strong saltiness, strong. It's always awesome to have a local guide, especially when it comes to food, because there's so many different cuisines here in Shanghai. So thanks. It's okay. So during this family trip, we've spent about 14 days here in Shanghai and we've had some incredible food. This is one of our favorite ones. Mum's eaten there like three times in a row now, so I hope she's not sick of it. But anyway, the place is called Shanghai Zengguang, loosely translates to the house of the people of Shanghai. And they make some unique dishes here. It's got a slight modern twist with some of Shanghainese classics. This one isn't really a Shanghainese classic, but it is delicious. So it's black truffle, with chicken. Truffle is one of those things you can sprinkle it on anything and it makes it more delicious. All those earthy flavors with the natural chicken, incredible. I'm 
excited to try this dish. It's Tong Yo Bing or Spring Onion Pancakes. Normally it's a popular street food which I really love and they're quite big usually. But here you've got little ones and they're foils. Was not expecting this. This version is a lot more like a doughy cake but very crispy on the outside. And then you've got that soft mushiness on the inside. Very unusual. Ooh, you can peel them all up too. Right here we've got Mutsu Shen Tian Bao, also known as Thumb Size Shen Tian Bao. They're basically a tiny version of Xiao Long Bao's but fried. And they're normally a lot bigger but these ones here, they're super tiny and cute. I'm gonna try and get one here. That's really delicious. Love Shen Tian Bao's and the fact that these ones are bite sized makes it feel like you can eat a whole ton of them. Tong Yu Fan Mian, another famous Shanghainese noodle dish. Ting Ting's probably going to argue with me saying that it's not actually from Shanghai but you know what Ting Ting, it's from Shanghai. <laughs> and here you go, you got to mix this noodle up. There's some oily spring onion that's right here on the top and you need to mix all of that right into the noodle and then you're going to be ready for a massive bite. The noodles, each one of them has been perfectly coated with the right amount of sauce. It's al dente perfect and then the spring onion flavour I seriously love this restaurant because they make every single dish perfectly. Next up, super exciting dish here. We've got Xiefen Youtiao. So Xiefen is that hairy crab, if you remember, the Tuzaha that we ate over at White Paul's house. And Youtiao are these fried pieces of bread. Let's go right in for one. It's nice and hot. Amazing. <laughs> I can't even describe how good this is. Even though it's fried, it's really soft as well crusty and you've got the salty delicious incredible yolky crab thing that's going on it's amazing like I can't give enough of these and these for this dish so good and this final dish is Jiu Nian Yuanzi which is fermented rice balls in a nice big bowl of soup oh. this is the flavor of Shanghai to me along with Xiaolong Bao I love it so much it's got a slight rice wine flavor as well as a slight bit of sweetness and then when you get some of the rice balls, glutinous rice balls in your mouth it's like magic. So much deliciousness in one simple bite. This place massive thumbs up and that wraps up the best yes. eats shanghai Hi. episode oh my gosh we have had so much delicious food on this trip <laughs> we've got a big tip for you if you want to come to shanghai and eat this incredible food too come around october and towards the end of it that is the peak season for the hairy crab and don't forget smash that like and subscribe button <laughs> and you can see plenty more of yen and i on future episodes drop us a comment too we love reading them See you next time. See ya.